First thing we need to do is rinse off some potatoes. I'm using some Yukon Gold and red potatoes. We've got those on our makeshift steamer with my metal colander and boiling water. Cover those up and we're just going to steam those until nice and soft. Meanwhile, I'm making a flax egg with some fresh ground flax seed to make sure it's still got all the benefits in it. About a tablespoon of flaxseed ground and about a tablespoon of water. Stir that up and set it to the side to gel. All right, back to our potatoes. And just stick a fork, or in my case, uh, stick a knife into them just to make sure they are done. Then you want to remove those off of the stove. I put them in another dish and just went to smashing. Now you can use a food processor for this particular part, but sometimes I just really like to get my hands in there. And smashing I went. And plus it gives it a little better texture overall, I believe. So like I said, lots of smashing done there too. You want it to get it to a relatively smooth consistency before you move on to the next part. I'm telling you, this is super, super duper easy. It seems like it's complicated, but just watch how easily it comes together. Next up, I added about a cup of steamed corn. There's the flax egg that we made and our good friend nutritional yeast. I probably, that was the last of that, so I probably put in about two tablespoons, give it a little bit of a cheesy flavor. There is some chickpea flour and cornmeal. And then I've got garlic powder, paprika, salt, onion powder, and ground pepper. But of course, as always, you can season however you choose. Get that nice and stirred up completely. Next up is we are ready to start making our waffles. So I've got my lovely flippy waffle maker ready and just kind of spoon some in there. Now it's gonna look weird because I spooned a lot more in there that's going to end up coming out later because I forgot to film it. I was so excited to try them. So you just put some on there. Please don't fill it all the way, just like if you were making regular waffles because it'll make a mess. Close it up. And it's going to be a little more than a regular waffle cycle. As you can see, they will stick. A lot of times they will, but look at that color. And they come right off as long as um, I just took a little fork. That is the finished product. I've got some extra corn on mine, as well as some steamed broccoli. And I made some cashew cheese sauce to go on top of it. So good, so savory. This is not breakfast, this is an amazing dinner. Definitely a must make meal. Thanks for watching, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.